Welcome back on ABC Networking Channel. My name is Tobias van Ingem. The last video I made was around NetConf in combination with the H3C Cloud Lab Simulator. Um, I got a lot of requests on this video if I could also make one in combination to watch an HP Comware device. I did some thinking because I want to make sure that everybody can use this on their laptop. So what I did was I downloaded the VSR, so the Virtual Services Router from HP.com. Um, on the ABC networking channel, you can find some videos from Marius Venter where he shows you how you can download it and set up the VSR. So I'm not going into too much details on that one. But uh, when you download it, you get an OVA file. I imported that into VMware Workstation. After that, we're going to configure the interface. Um, we're going to use NetConf over SSH again. So therefore, we will set up a username. Uh, configure the line VTI, configure NetConf, and then we enable uh, SSH server. Then we will have a look into Fighten because we're going to use the NCC client library, um, and then we will start making connections, and I will show you a little bit of the difference uh, based on the last video. So as said, I imported the OVA. The only change I made was that I want to communicate with my host only, so by default, this network adapter is on bridge, so I configure that to uh, host only. So let's go, as you can see it is booted up, uh, completely default. So let's first do some, uh, some, uh, some small steps to making sure we can uh, start communicating with this device. So I'm going to system mode. And in system mode, the first thing I'm going to do is to go to my interface, IP address, DHCP allocated. So let's have a look, display IP int brief. Let's give it a couple of seconds so that I can get an IP address and we are quite sure that we can start communicating with this device. There you can see my address will be 192.168.132.129. So that's what we will use. So now let's set up the local user. Uh, so the local user will be, uh, it will be my name, Dobias. Uh, class will be a managed. So we added that one. So we're going to use in this case password simple. Uh, we're going to use HP Rocks, and then we give it a service type of SSH and authorization attribute. If we also want to make sure that we can execute uh, higher level commands, then we want to be a network administrator for this. And of course, we're going to set up the SSH user. That's Dobias. Uh, service type, as you can see, there are different service type, but in this case, I just do all authentication will be password we're going to set up the local vti authentication will be scheme and the protocol inbound will be ssh so now we're going to configure netconf so netconf ssh we're going to use <clears throat> this is already default port but i just want to make sure that you see how you can configure it if you need to change it. So we won't see this back in the configuration because this is default. Uh, we're also going to uh, enable the server. Otherwise, we can't communicate with it. Uh, I also going to enable SSH. So now I did the, uh, I'm going to save uh, the configuration. Uh, now I'm going to open up and have a look for you. Let me release this. Uh, I'm going to get my uh, fight in, but first I want to show you that uh, what kind of version of NC client I'm using. As you can see, I'm using a 0 0.45, so that's a late, latest version, or at least a very uh, latest one. So in this command, in this uh, Python, the first thing I'm going to do is I need to import the NCC client. So I'm going to import the manager part because that's what we need. Uh, what I will show you is that when I import manager, uh, I can I can do a couple of things with the manager. But the main thing we are going to do is we are going to use it to connect. Uh, so therefore, I'm not going to type it in, but I already did it for you to copy. We're going to pass this in. So as you can see here, uh, I already logged in to the shell as user SSH Dobias. So because when I do NM, you can see that I have an NCC client manager object. 
So what's happening here is that I provided the host name, the host IP address in this case, port name, use Adobe as password, and some additional command. And as you can see, uh, based on the latest versions in NC Client, uh, you can type devices. In the other video, I used H2C. In this one, I'm using HP Comweb. So I created this object. I'm successfully logged into the uh, to the device. So let me show you what I have right now. So if you do, you can see that I have some uh, a lot of a lot of uh, uh, commands that I can use against this object, and they are a little bit different than the ones we saw in the uh, uh, H3C one. There are some pretty cool ones in here. Is that, for example, I can now um, use the CLI display command and immediately type, for example, uh, display IP interface brief. Uh, oh, sorry, I see I made a typo here. So display IP interface brief. And what you can see now is that I don't have to think about creating a variable with the whole uh, correct uh, netcom structure and then uh, push that uh, CLI as I did in the other video. So this is pretty handy that you can do immediately these uh, these commands with the CLI display commands. So I will get back to you further on this video that we have some additional ones. But let's uh, let's also look at how we still do the um, for example, the netconf. So let's create this variable. As you can see, the structure in here, uh, I'm not referring to any specific VLAN, so I want to retrieve all. And what I do now is I'm using the get, and then I say, okay, I'm using the subtree, and I'm using the VLAN filter variable as filter. Uh, I need to have an additional square bracket, uh, bracket here. As you can see, um, I'm going to be able to retrieve all this information via netconf. So let's add a VLAN to this one. Let's create that variable again. The VLAN we're going to create will be VLAN 101. And now we need to use an, uh, an added config part. We're going to push it to the running config. Uh, we're using this variable that will be the config and the default operation is replace. So let's copy this. Let's pass it in here. And see what's happening. I got an OK back from Netconf. So what is fun now is what I can use is I can use the CLI display and say, okay, just um, display VLAN and see if I could retrieve this. And as you can see, I have VLAN one as the default and one on one as the um, uh, as the additional one that we just created via Netconf. So that's really nice. But I can also retrieve specific information. If I do a copy here, and I'm using this to push uh, to do nm.get, where I can retrieve information. I'm using a subtree again, just like we did in the other example. But now I'm using a different filter, and that's my one-on-one -on -one filter we just created. Close it up, and you can see that we are now can retrieve via netconf specific information of a specific VLAN ID. Also, I can retrieve all information. And that's what I do when I don't provide anything with the get. I just do this. And now you will see that I retrieved all information from the device. In the other video, I also showed how you can parse this to an XML parser to make sure that you can print this pretty. Not going into too much detail now. So the nice thing about uh, this HP Conway device parameters is that I got an additional command. It's called CLI config, uh, and just like the display, I don't I don't need to type in a lot of information. So I just can say undo VLAN 101, and then as you can see, everything else will be done for you. So if I now do nm CLI display. Uh, and I do display uh, VLAN, you will see that I only have VLAN 1 and not anymore VLAN 101. And in order to make sure that we verify this also with the subtree uh, using that particular VLAN filter 101 that we created, 101 VLAN filter, there we go. 
and you can see I don't get any data back so that VLAN ID is non-existing anymore. Of course we can also add an OSPF interface and what you will see is that all these um, uh, URLs are changed by H2C are now changed by HP.com. So let's add this in here. Copy, let's create this variable piece here. There we go, create it. Now let's do nm.edit config. We're going to say, okay, the target will be the running config again. Running config. Uh, and the uh, config part that will be config part will be the uh, at OSPF at OSPF yeah so now we're going to execute this I got an OK back as you can see so what do we want to do now is see if we can uh, use netcov also to retrieve OSPF information for example so now let's create a filter variable again and now let's do the uh, nm.get uh, and we're going to use the subtree again subtree but now we're going to use the OSPF filter and close it and there you can see we now have a new uh, create an instance 100 and of course if we want to um, we can use the CLI displays commands also again to retrieve that information directly from the CLI. So, and as always, we want to close this session and making see if what's happening on the console. So, let's do one thing before I close the session. What I will do is I will do a display uh, display current config. And as you can see, here is my 100 OSPF instance I created, so that you will see that it's also. Uh, directly on this device. So let me close this session. So session is closed and hereby I want to I wanna thank you for watching. Hope you can support us and please subscribe to the channel if you find all this information useful. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time.